Hi everyone, this is Nishtha from Nish Online Interior Design, Paint Color Consultation and Home Decor Content Writing. Today, we'll be discussing another very calming and soothing paint color that is quite different from the already very popular grey-blue paint colors and blue-green paint colors and grey-green paint colors such as Sherwin-Williams Sea Salt, Evergreen Fog, Retreat, Rosemary, etc, etc. Well, the most beautiful thing about today's paint color is that it's actually a blend of all three calming color categories, the green, the blue and the grey. So, any guesses what it is? Well, yes, Sherwin-Williams Rainwashed. <music> So Sherwin Williams Rain Wash may not be a very very popular paint color as compared to sea salt and other green paint colors but at the same time this color can equally rejuvenate you, relax you and makes you feel stress free after a long day at work. And just like the other colors that I mentioned earlier, the other green greys, green blues and grey blues this color is more of sort of a color than a neutral so let me tell you right now there's a lot of difference between a color and a neutral let's say sherwin williams sea salt is definitely a neutral since it has a major dominant gray undertone which makes this color more of a neutral and you know very subtle and quiet and calm at the same time sherwin williams rain washed is more like a color and not a neutral i must say that this color has a deep gray undertone to it but majorly the undertone is very 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 slight with a major dominant focus on blue or green undertone. Hence this is where the grey undertone takes a step back and makes Sherwin Williams Rainwash feel more like a colour than a neutral. One of the most beautiful characteristics of this colour is that it feels like a sea glass paint colour and it feels like an absolutely uh, a pure product of tranquilization, serenity, calmness and it can exhibit a spa like feel in your bathroom, in your bedrooms. You can use this color as an accent or a base let's say on the wainscoting of your home or probably your kids area, your entryway door. In your entryway door this color is bound to look very relaxing and inviting and welcoming for your guests. At the same time you can use this color just on the ceiling and let your remaining walls be white. So there are a couple of ways to make the most of this paint color. So I know that I've been jabbering a lot about the beautiful characteristics of Sean Williams Rainwashed and not clearly defining what actually this color is. So Sherwin Williams Rainwash is exactly a true blue green paint color that has deep grey undertones to make it slightly neutral. Since this color is cool and lighter toned, you can expect this color to make your space look much bright, airy and fresh at all times. Moreover, this color can be used for a couple of interior design styles out there. I have color palettes on Etsy like French Farmhouse, Japan D, Modern Farmhouse where I have used this paint color and how this paint color can act a beautiful statement in such interior design styles. So, especially if it's your coastal, Caribbean, Cape Cod, French Farmhouse, Japan D, Shabby Chic, modern farmhouse trust me this paint color can make a beautiful beautiful statement in these interior design styles of course it is not as versatile as off-whites creams and black paint colors that can be used almost everywhere but this color can equally make a fundamental statement in these interior design styles now homeowners often inquire whether sherwin williams rainwashed is a blue or green tone paint color whereas some people say that it drives more green to it well in my books it's actually a green tone paint color and let me tell you this is what sherwin williams palettes and websites say as well they clearly categorize sherwin williams rainwash under the green paint colors so technically speaking sherwin williams rainwash is a green paint color but with a very major focus on the blue undertone. Well, let me tell you, the blue is not very, very dominant, but at the same time, it's existent and under certain lighting conditions, it can appear slightly blue 
green but at the same time the gray is very subtle throughout the day which makes it slightly neutral generally if you place a swatch of sherwin williams rain washed against sherwin williams sea salt you're quite likely to observe that the former paint color holds more color and blue to it on the other hand when placing a swatch of sherwin williams rain washed against sherwin williams trade wind you're quite likely to observe the existing green undertones so you see this color has a perfect blend of blue green gray and if you're looking for a paint color that offers the beautiful characteristics of all three blue green and gray then rainwashed is definitely something to have an eye on at the same time you need to consider this color is lighter toned and it can be used in smaller to medium sized homes well another very common question among homeowners is if sherwin williams rainwashed is a warm or cool tone paint color well like i mentioned earlier sherwin williams rainwashed is definitely a cool tone paint color it is nowhere closer to being warm the green the cool green and the cool blue undertones can beautifully combine with the gray to exhibit an utmost sense of crispness and a cool vibe thus making your space look large and airy at all times but that doesn't mean that you can't use this paint color in warmer tone color palettes as well so let's take an example of sherwin williams french farmhouse or modern farmhouse color palettes these can be warm or cool so sherwin williams rainwash can be used as a base or or an accent well in such a case i would say that you use sherwin williams rain washed as an accent in your warmer tone color palette so let's say if you have a grey farmhouse style or uh, if you have majorly warmer colors running around your home in the bedrooms in the common spaces you can still definitely use sherwin williams rain washed as an accent let's say just on like a uh, or a powder bathroom vanity uh probably an island table or your accent furniture and or probably one of the bedrooms so in the warmer tone color palettes i would say that you use this color as an accent but your major uh, base and neutral should be warmer colors in your warmer tone color palette at the same time if you're more driven towards the cooler end of the scale and you prefer a cooler color palette let's say because you already have installed a uh, cool natural stone countertops and you have cool uh, wooden flooring gray flooring or something in that case sherwin williams rain wash can be used as a base as well as an accent so as an accent you can use it on the vanity and accent wall or something but at the same time you, the, this color can be used as a base on uh, let's say all the walls of a specific room or probably if you have some kind of uh, wainscoting running around the house you can use it there and you can use it in a couple of areas in larger numbers as compared to your warmer tone color palette now since we've talked about the technicality of the paint color and how it feels and now that we've already discussed the technicality of the paint color the lrv the undertones how this color behaves in various lighting conditions let's talk about one of the most interesting aspects so i know that you've been waiting for this and you want to know how to use this paint color in your home and how to best make use of this sherwin williams rain wash on the walls the vanity etc etc so i would like to first mention that you can use this paint color as a base or an accent as an accent you can use rain washed in your powder bathroom or other bathroom vanities or walls so if you're using this color on the walls you can choose like a creamy white color or a neutral white color for the vanity simply in the powder bathroom or other bathrooms you can use this paint color on just on the ceiling or just on the wainscoting or just on the accent wall or if the space is large then you can use it on all the walls of your bedroom and kids play area as well but i must say that you should avoid using this color on all the common walls of your home since it can make your house look very dull dingy and um, uninviting even if you have a coastal interior design style i know you may be liking greens blues and green grays a lot and it's a beach house and you want to throw in that color out there but let me tell you if you use rain washed on all the common walls of your home it's going to intimidate you it's going to look old and boring and it's going to make your house look outdated in the coming years so if you're looking to go timeless i would say that you choose lighter shades of gray or off whites or ivory or cream on the common walls and use rain washed as a certain accent on your uh, bathroom vanity let's say if you have built in shelves in your living room you can use this color there 
you can even use this color in the bedrooms you can even experiment with rain washed in your kitchen on the cabinets the upper lower island combination or just on the lower cabinets and island combination or simply only on the island even if you have a mudroom or foyer that has a couple of cabinets out there you can definitely throw this color in there or even your laundry room cabinets so this way you're making the most use of this paint color beautifully and at the same time you can retain its charm and the beachy character here's a well curated pre-made color palette that i have created for sherman williams rainwashed on etsy it enlists all the exact colors that pair with rainwashed color including how and where to use them in your whole house color palette I have included five color palettes with Sherwin Williams rainwashed and complementary hues along with how to use each of these paint colors in various areas of a home. You'll also get detailed material and fabric palette with each of Sherwin Williams rainwashed color palettes. Another bonus is paint planner and a detailed guide on paint sheens for various areas of your home. You can easily download this pre-made color palette on my Etsy shop as well as my website. So, are you looking to eye some real-time examples of Sherwin-Williams Rainwash in a home? Well, here are some pictures. You can use Sherwin-Williams Rainwash paint color in the bedroom walls, the accent wainscoting, ceilings, entryway doors, exterior shutters, kids' rooms, bathroom vanity, mudroom cabinets, living built-in shelves, kitchen cabinets and island, laundry room cabinets. So now that you've decided to use this paint color in your bedroom, your living room, your dining room, probably the exteriors, probably your kids area, let's see what you can best pair this color with so you can retain the most beauty of this paint color. I know this is a very important aspect. If you randomly pair rain wash with a random paint color out there or a paint color that has some sneaky weird undertones, it's going to make your rain wash paint color wall weird and absurd. So in such a case, here are a list of colors that I would recommend that you can pair with Sherwin Williams Rain Wash depending on their color categories. In general with Rain Wash, you can easily pair off-whites, ivory, cream, cool gray colors, off-whites with gray undertones, dark charcoal gray colors, lemon yellow paint colors and black paint colors. So let's see, here's a list. Here's a list of Sherwin Williams creamy and cool tone whites that go with Sherwin Williams Rain Washed. Alabaster, Extra White, Four Star, Fleur de Sel, Snowbound. Now here's a list of Sherwin Williams beige grey toe paint colors that go with Sherwin Williams Rain Washed. Agreeable Grey, Repose Grey, Drift of Mist, Gossamer Veil. Now here's another list of Sherwin Williams greys and blue greys that go with Sherwin Williams Rain Washed. Cityscape, Serious Grey, Jubilee. Now here is another important aspect of my color reviews. Well, yes, comparing colors. I know how difficult it can be. Let's say if you're really fond of the Sherwin Williams Rainwash paint color, but you're not very excited about the sneaky blue undertone, or maybe you don't like the green in it, and maybe you're looking for something more enchanting and bright. In such a case, I like to compare paint colors, different swatches at the same time. So with Sherwin Williams Rainwash, I would like to compare two paint colors that are dominantly somehow similar to each other. Number one is Sherwin Williams Sea Salt. If you observe, these two colors even lie next to each other on Sherwin Williams color palette. Well, I would tell you Sherwin Williams Sea Salt is a more neutral paint color as compared to Rain Wash, which is a more color and a lesser neutral. So Sea Salt has more gray to it, definitely. Whereas Sherwin Williams Rain Wash has lesser gray to it. Sherwin Williams Rain Wash has a blue undertone, which can be lacking in Sherwin Williams Sea Salt. Moreover, Sea Salt has an LRV of 63 that makes it slightly lighter as compared to the Rain Washed. So if you're looking for a paint color that does not have blue to it and it's uh, probably a gray green color which is more driven towards the neutral end of the scale and is lighter, then definitely Sea Salt is your answer. At the same time, if you want to retain the blue characteristics, then Sherwin Williams Rain Washed it is. On the other hand, if you're not very fond of the green paint color and you want the blue to pop out more along with gray, in such a case, you can choose Sherwin Williams Trade Wind to go against Sherwin Williams Rain Washed. 
trade wind has just a very 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 tiny tinge of green which is almost negligible it is majorly blue with a deep gray undertone all right so my next recommendation is sherwin williams watery now that we've talked about the difference in undertones and i've recommended two other paint colors the second one is more of a brighter color so let's say if sherwin williams rain washed feels more neutral to you and you're looking for a paint color that feels more like a color and not a neutral well in such a case i would say that you choose sherwin williams watery over sherwin williams rain washed so watery is another blue green color that almost lacks in the gray undertone so it's definitely not a neutral but a very bright enchanting and a very lively blue green color it's highly recommended for beach homes coastal homes and since it has an lrv of 57 it can feel just very slightly um, darker as compared to sherwin williams rain wash so in such a case if you're looking for a paint color that feels more color and less a neutral with again blue green undertones then watery it is now one of the last questions that I would address today is what trim paint colors go with Sherwin Williams Rainwashed? Well Sherwin Williams Rainwashed is a cool toned color. My always number one choice is Sherwin Williams Pure White to go with Sherwin Williams Rainwashed. This pure white color can be used on the ceilings, trims, moldings, window moldings, crown moldings and doors, window frames. And since this color is a neutral, it will play neutral with your rainwashed walls. It can help retain the true beauty of your rainwash paint color. But if pure white is not your type, you can even choose Sherwin Williams Extra White, which is again a very clean, bright and stark white paint color that can be used on the ceilings and uh, trims. At the same time, you can even replace it with high reflective white, which is again a very clean and stark version of a white paint color. But my number one choice would always be pure white at all times. Now here's where I would say that you must avoid choosing warmer off whites for the trims and mold and ceilings because it can make your rainwashed walls look very confusing since rainwash already has a lot of undertones out there let's say you must not experiment with another undertone up there on the ceiling or the window moldings and that's why uh, benjamin moore chantilly lace or uh, sherwin williams pure white make a wonderful choice so are you excited to use this paint color in your home well does sherwin williams rainwash intrigue you are you looking to use this paint color on the laundry cabinets, your vanities, your bedrooms? Well, I would love to see some pictures. If you do make the decision of using this paint color in your home, do drop images in the link below. You can email them to me. You can reach out to me on my website www.nishtasadana.com and you can even check out my Etsy shop for latest pre-packaged color palettes. I'll see you all next Monday. Bye.